just extract. Today I'm going to show you how to extract DNA from a banana. So before you do this, you're gonna need a few items. Um, the first one, the first item you're gonna need is a sealable plastic bag. And then of course you're going to need a banana. Um, you're going to need just like a butter knife. Um, you're going to need just a plate you can kind of set everything on. You're going to need a strainer and a coffee filter. Um, I'm also just using opened tea bags for my coffee filter. Um, you're also going to need like a measuring cup or something similar to this like Pyrex cup. Um, you're going to need some like rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol or like vodka that's going to be like need to be in the freezer so it's going to need be need to be like really cold um you're going to need some salt some liquid dish soap warm water and um a skewer the first step you're going to do is you're going to chop up your banana into little pieces this will make it easier when you mash it all together now that you have chopped up your banana as the first step, you're going to take it and you're going to put it into your plastic bag. You're going to close it. You're just going to mash it until it gets a nice, smooth consistency. Washing your banana to consistency similar to this. You're going to take your warm water and you're going to take your salt and you're going to get four teaspoons of salt and you're going to pour them all into this cup and you're going to dissolve it. Now that our salt is all dissolved in our warm water, we're going to take our dish soap and we're going to take two teaspoons of this and we're going to mix it with our salt water and we're going to stir it until it's all mixed together. Now that we have our soap and salt water mixture and our squash banana, we're going to open this up and we're going to pour our mixture into the bag with the banana. We're going to close it again and now we're going to squish these this mixture together for about 10 minutes after kneading your banana water salt and dish soap mixture for about 10 minutes. It should look pretty similar to this. It could take more or less time depending on how good you are at kneading these things together. But now that we've done this, we can take our strainer, our coffee filter or tea bag, um, and we're gonna set this in our strainer like this. And then we're going to take our Pyrex measuring cup and we're going to put it right on top like this. Now we're going to take our um, banana water soap mixture and we're going to pour it through the filter. I have a little bit left over. Um, but my strainer is pretty full, so I'm just going to use this, this much. This part can take a little while because this is the part that is separating the larger parts of the banana cells from the rest of the parts in order to, um, get the parts of the cells that have the DNA that we need that we're going to extract, um, filtered out just so we have the cells that we need at the bottom and then all the larger bits and stuff that we don't need is going to stay up here. 
Well, the banana mixture string, I can tell you a little bit about all the stuff that we used in the experiment today. So we used the um, dish soap today because it can cut through lipids like grease and fat. And so this um, will sort of can disrupt and open up the cell membranes in the banana. And so that will allow them to release the DNA and um, for us to extract. And it does this by dissolving the lipids and the proteins that hold the cell membranes together. The salt that we use in this experiment today helps the DNA stick together um, by neutralizing the negative charges in the DNA. And that's what helps them stick together. And it also causes proteins and carbohydrates to precipitate, which basically means that allows them to sort of congeal into more solid form. And so when we crushed up the banana, um, that helped like physically break apart the cell walls. And that's sort of why it's the first um, step in this experiment is the initial breaking of the cell walls and structures. And then we use all the other things to further break apart the cells and get the DNA out. Now it looks like our mixture is pretty much done filtering out. There's still a little bit of drops left, but it looks like we got, we got most of it. So now what we're going to do is we are going to remove our strainer. We can just set it on our plate here. And we're going to take our new cup and we're going to pour our liquid filtered mixture into our cup here. Now we're going to take our cold um, alcohol and we're going to pour it down the side of our glass. And the alcohol that is used in this experiment is used to dissolve everything that isn't DNA. So this is like the final cut through all the cell membranes and everything and getting us straight to the DNA. It also pulls water out of the DNA molecules and causes them to collapse collapse on themselves and precipitate as well um, or solidify so you can see a little bit there's a tiny cloud forming um, this clear space up here so now we should start to see the DNA rising to the top and a little cloud will form and that'll be our DNA <laughs> Now you should see this cloud here, and you can see it better from the top. All of those little white spindly cloud-like things, those are all the DNA. Now we can, we can take our wooden skewer, we can stick it in and wrap it around some of that deep fluffing around. There we go. Now a piece of DNA. You have successfully extracted the DNA from a banana.